Okay, so my computer is uh, chronically underpowered, so that process took a very long time. But here are the maps that have come out of it. So this is a diffuse map. This is the height map, or bump map. And this is the normal map. And um, we can go and apply them now. So I can close X normal. And um, here's the demo that was at the beginning of the video. Where you can see the texture. So I was using those um, the pulsing lights to give a better indication of the the three D detail, so you can see the shadows move and things like that. Um, so we can go ahead and delete this element. And actually, I've already imported. It looks like I've imported it in a bunch of times. Delete it and re-import it. So we take the low poly mesh that we exported from uh, Photoscan and we will draw it, drag it into Unity 3D. And then we have some options for importing. I'm just going to stick with these ones. It's probably not a good idea. I haven't t tried it, but um, smoothing the the normals. Um, or doing any sort of swapping with UVs and stuff like that is probably going to mess up the the maps that we've just generated. So I'm just going to pull our model into the environment here. You can see it's upside down. I'm just to I won't spend too long on this. I'll just rotate it around a little bit um, and get it sort of somewhere where we can vaguely see what it looks like. Okay, that's fine. If I was ex if my um, photo scan was set up properly, then it would be exporting it in, in the correct scale and the correct alignment. But that's fine. Um, so I'm also going to generate a mesh collider just so we can't walk through it. So now we have our object here. I'm going to go into the um, the output, these three maps that we've just exported, and I'm going to pull them in to the Unity project. So it took a moment to export them. It's going to be a bit hard to see because we've got so many of them from the different projects, but we can tell because they're the smaller ones. So somewhere here, it looks like it's importing it test 2. Okay, so the ones that I'm importing are test 2 and they're 512. So these are the ones that I'm importing. So I um, just want to make sure that the normal is set to normal and make sure you turn off create from grayscale because it's already generated. Um, we don't want them compressed. Just We'll apply that. So that's a maximum size. We don't have to worry about the format. We don't want to be compressed. And make sure that you have trilinear set up. Okay, and now if we just pull this texture over into the mesh, then it will apply it as a, um, as a diffuse shader. And then if we select it, we can go and set it up as a uh, parallax diffuse. So we already have the diffuse texture, and just pull the height map in and the normal map. And you see, one thing that we can see is that for the parallax diffuse, there's this height setting. And we want to, you can see that if we set it too high, then the texture, we're off the edges of the texture. So I'm just going to set it down. I think that it should actually be set to zero, basically. 
um, and that should still give the opportunity for the detail, the 3D detail to show up. Find out in a second. Actually, another thing you can set it to parallax specular, which um, it should show up the 3D elements a little bit more. So let's just move it so it's slightly better placed. These lights do seem quite bright. And well, you can definitely see in this one, I might bring the model down a little bit lower as well so you can see a bit better. Uh, the detail in this is a lot worse than the detail in the demo that I was giving because it's a 512 by 512 set of maps. So you can see that there's, um, it's a lot more pixelated. Both the diffuse map is more pixelated the and the other two, so the, the depth the height map and the normal map are all much more pixelated um, and you should play around with the production of your your different maps to produce good effects so for example I can take this somewhere here I have a generated uh, map which is much bigger so you can see that's um, 4096 by 4096 so I can go in here and select should be able to selectively set up the diffuse map uh, actually that seems to be wrong it doesn't seem to be uh, it's because this is a generated from a different model so the model is actually slightly different for, so this old um, old map you can see it's rotated 90 degrees which isn't super helpful but you can come along and um, and choose to use different resolutions of maps over the top of each other and you saw from our from our other reconstruction that I will load up here the original demo that was starting at the beginning of the video um, Demo. Ah, here we go. That the results that you can get are really quite impressive, considering that the um, uh, when we look at the level of detail, the number of polygons in here, it's very small. It's very very small. So if we didn't have this diffuse map on, if we were just like the standard diffuse map then um, it's really very very low detail and you can see in the wireframe there's there's really not very much geometry in here all of the um, the segments where there's damage to the wall are really just lost in this and yet when you run it through with the same geometry so this this is a hundred um, faces a thousand faces, sorry. This is also a thousand faces, and yet you can see a lot more detail, so it's uh, a big, big improvement. Okay, so um, if you have any questions about the process, um, I'm really just starting out to use this, but it looks like it will be very rewarding to use it and will be able to vastly improve the. Um, the performance of the Unity 3D project that I'm putting it into and also reduce the size of it, which is great. I'm planning on running these on mobile devices, so you know I, I can't afford to have multiple 400,000 face bits of geometry um, without it slowing down significantly, but um, it's really quite brilliant to be able to bring it in as such a small mesh and still maintain the detail 
um, that's going to be really good for me and hopefully it will be something that's useful for you. Um, I'd love to hear about what your projects are. You can email me um, just via or send, put comments on this video and I will try to respond or you can email me um, or message me via my user account and um, also check out my research website and also my portfolio joshhile.com and tacticalspace.org tacticalspace.org is the um, research blog um, and yep I'd love to hear how you've used this and if it's been helpful. Okay, cheers.